Hi, this is Ian, your SD MLS specialist. Let's talk about how to create an email signature. For mastery of this and all topics, remember to play, pause, and practice. To start creating a signature, we will go to the Preferences icon at the top of the page. Let's click on Preferences and then move the mouse straight down until you find Email. Let's click on it to select it. Your email options will appear on the left side. Let's find the folder that says Email Signature and then click on it. From here, we want to move our mouse down. We may find that we have a signature. If you wish to start from there, you can click on it and then proceed to make changes. I'd like to show how to add a brand new signature. We will click on Add New. At this point, we can move the mouse over and make any necessary adjustments. I'm going to click at the end and update my phone number. I'm also going to update my office name. And once you have this edited, in addition to uh, this, you would also want to add in your BRE. Feel free to add it into any section you'd like. That is a requirement needed, so please feel free to type in your BRE. And again, I'm just adding it here. Feel free to put it under your name or anywhere else on the page. Once you have this filled out, we're going to then add our picture. To add your picture, click on it once with the left mouse button. From here, we're going to move our mouse toward the top center row and click on Insert Edit Image. When the Insert Edit Image box appears, we're going to find our Browse button over here with the magnifying glass over the file. Let's click on that button that will now allow us to add a photo. And since we've added a photo into the Paragon system, we have one here to choose. Let's go ahead and select it now. Again, you will see the orange highlighting to let you know that you have your picture selected. We will move up to Insert Image. Now that we are back to the Insert Edit Image box, we want to make sure that our picture will fit in our signature. We found that a good option is to click into the second box, highlight your number, and make it 110. We also want to make sure to keep the constrained proportions selected. With 110 typed in here and the check mark selected here, we can then take our mouse and click anywhere else in this box. Let's click here. Did you notice this number has now changed to be in proportion with the number that we have typed in over here? With all of these options selected, let's click OK to enter our picture. You will see it highlighted still because the box was highlighted when we started. To get rid of that, we can click anywhere. Let's click here. Now we will see our normal picture in proportion to our name and anything else that's been written here. The only thing left would be to give our signature a name and save it. Let's save this one here with this name. We'll click on default signature. You can have many signatures. Only one can be the default. Whichever signature you choose as your default signature, this will be included with any email that leaves our system. This is the email I would like, email signature I would like to use whenever emailing from the Paragon system. So I will have this selected and click on Save. After this has been saved, we can immediately take a look to see what we've done. Let's move our mouse toward the top right corner of the page and click on Compose Email. 
we will immediately see a sample of our email signature. This has been how to create your email signature. For more training videos, please go to sdmls.com, click on the Paragon icon in the top left, and then select Training Videos. This has been Ian, your MLS trainer, reminding you to play, pause, and practice.